In this environmental study, we look at the impact of uh, the design of packaging on the cost and the recyclability of, of this package. So once we've imported the data in the notebook, you can see that uh, the inputs for the design will be the type of material that is used between different cardboards, uh, the manufacturing process, as well as shape, shape parameters. And the outputs will be the recyclability um, and the cost of uh, the design. So we've run a notebook where we explored the data in, in various ways. Um, we then trained a neural network. We uh, evaluated it, validated that it was uh, accurate enough and then used it to make uh, more predictions. And from these notebooks, we created um, a dashboard that you can see here with all the key results. Um, so in this dashboard, uh, on the left, you can see an intelligent correlation where we look at the impact of or let's say the relationship between each of the input parameters and uh, the outputs there. So you can see here, for instance, that the material seems to in impact the recyclability in some ways. Uh, obviously, it's not a perfect relationship because the recyclability is also impacted by the other parameters. But if I go to size parameter two, for instance, we can see that there's really no, no clear relationship or impact on the recyclability. Uh, then we train the model. Uh, and this model can be used to make new predictions. So here, for instance, if I reduce the size parameter two, I'll have a new prediction of my re uh, recyclability and my cost. And you can see that the cost is going down, but the recyclability doesn't seem to be affected by this change in, in size. <clears throat> we can also change the um, values of the material, of the process. And again, a new prediction will come with its associated uncertainty. So here we reduce the recyclability and increase the cost, which is not, it's not really good. Uh, we can do the same with the manufacturing process. If we change from manufacturing process two to three, again, we have changes there. We can look at the, let's say the variation of the cost with the thickness of the material as well. So that can guide us in making our choices. But then the next step is to understand better the kind of the results. So here we have this, uh, these two blocks that explain the predictions uh, for cost and recyclability. It shows that for both material and manufacturing processes are the two most impactful uh, inputs. The thickness as well seems to be important, but the size parameter seems to only impact the cost and, and, and really not much the recyclability. And finally, you can run targeted optimization where you specify that you want um, high recyclability and a low cost, for instance, and you're provided uh, in output here the values that are recommended for the inputs of your design. So here, for instance, we've recommended to use cardboard one and process three. So if we go up here and use cardboard one and process three, we should uh, see the recyclability increase and the cost decrease. Um, so we wait a second. Yes, so you can see there's a higher recyclability and really low cost. So that is giving you more insight on how you should manufacture your uh, packaging.